Sister Tina Coffey, amen, is in need of healing. She called me the other day. She said, Pastor, I'm in so much pain, not feeling very good. So let's continue to pray for her. And Brother Kelvin Coffey is in need of healing. Amen. Pray for him. Will you stand, please? And let's go boldly before the throne of God. Also pray for all these people that might be traveling out on the roads. So let's just pray that God keeps his hands on them. Jesus, we love you and we thank you for your glory and your spirit. And for another time to lift our hands in your temple. You are the glory. You are the lifter of my head. You're the healer, Jehovah Rapha, the healer of all disease. We thank you for it. We praise you for it, God. Heal Sister Tina tonight. Heal Brother Kelvin, Lord. We pray that you would touch Sister Hallett right now. As we pray, let there be a miracle. Go into her house and let her legs begin to be fine and everything just go back into a place where no pain. We ask you to do that in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you would touch Sister Jenny Morrell tonight, that you would continue a work in her that you have started. Lord, build her strength up that she might be, Lord, what you need her to be right now. We pray for Sister Donna Perkins tonight, God, that you would heal her, and we thank you that you're able to do it. We believe you're able to do it, and we praise you for everything you've already done. Thank you for the service this morning. Continue to touch the souls of men and women. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bishop, if you'll pray for this young man. Amen. We're going to just lift our hands to the front, if you will, please. We're going to pray. This young man needs a miracle right now. You want to be healed, buddy? You want to be healed? All right. Amen. In Jesus' name, right now. Hallelujah. God, we praise you. Heal him right now in Jesus' name. Believe you're able, Lord. Believe you're able, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Church, say amen. 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 Ready for revival tonight. Amen. 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 Let's worship the Lord together. Amen. Let's clap our hands to the Lord as we go into praise and worship. Giving him glory. Give him praise. Hey, let's give him the glory. Give him praise. He woke me up this morning. This morning started me on my way. Give him the glory. Yes, give him praise. Oh, give him the glory. Give him praise, oh, give him the glory. We've come to give him praise. Cause he woke me up this morning, started me on my way. Give him the glory, give him the glory, give him praise. Oh, give him the glory. We've come to give him praise. Give him the glory. We've come to give him praise. Because he woke me up. Oh, and he started me on my way. Give him the glory. Oh, give him praise. You've got a right. You've got a right to praise him. You ought to praise the Sing it. You've got a right. Yes, you've got a right. Oh, you are the praise. Oh, you've got a right to praise him. You are the praise because he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Give him the give him the glory. Give him praise. Oh, give him the glory. We've come to give him praise, give him the glory, oh, give him praise. Yes, he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Give him the glory, yes, give him praise. You've got a right, you've got a right to praise. You ought to praise the Lord. Oh, you've got a right to praise Him. You ought to praise. Yes, you've got a right to praise Him. 
You are the place. Yes, you got a right to praise Him. You are the place. Oh, we've come to sing. We've come to sing. Dance and shout. We've come to praise Him. Yes, we've come to sing. Dance and shout. Yeah, we've come to praise Him. The glory. We've come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise till the glory oh, comes we've down. Come to see. We come to sing, dance and shout. We come to praise till the glory hey, comes down. He woke me up this morning, this morning and started me on my way. Yes, give him the glory. Oh, give him praise. Oh, give him the glory. We come to give him praise. Give him the glory. We've come to give him praise. Oh, he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Yes, give him the glory. Yeah, give him praise. You got a right. You got a right to praise. Hey, you are to praise the Lord. Yes, you got a right to praise him. You are a praise. The Lord. Oh, you've got a right. You've got a right to praise. Him. Oh, you, you are, are a praise. praise the Lord. Yes, you've got a right. You've got a right to praise. Hey, him. You, you are, are a praise. The Lord. Oh, we've come to sing. We've come to sing. Dance and shout. We've come to praise. The yes, come we've down. come to sing. We've come to sing. Yes, we come to praise. Yeah, we come to sing. Yeah, dance and shout. We come to praise. Yeah, we come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise. We come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise. We come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise. We come to sing. We come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise. Yes, we come to sing. We come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise till the glory comes down. We come to sing. Out of the most high, out of the high. As I was standing up here, start with this may sound a little carnal, but I began to think of the. The Tasha Cobb song that's been going around where that part says it's about Christmas praise. And if y'all don't know what that is, let me explain it. She talks about how when you go in on Christmas morning and you look around and you see all the presents and you're so excited, but you start opening them one at a time, you get all the paper off, you get everything around you and you think, okay, that's it. And mom and dad says, hang on, I've got one more present for you. And you go out in the garage or you go out into the barn and you look at it and it's a box and it's wrapped up with a big bow. You don't even know what it is, but you begin to jump. You begin to shout. You begin to get excited because you can only imagine what is inside of that box. And she begins to talk on her album about what if we as the church would give God a Christmas praise. What if we didn't even know what he was going to do for us tomorrow? But we would begin to praise him today in advance of what he was going to do. He's already done enough for us all the way back so we could give him praise from here to eternity. But I wonder if we just couldn't have some expectation and we couldn't say, okay, God, I don't know what you're going to do tomorrow, but I begin to thank you for it tonight. I don't know what doors you're going to open for me tomorrow. God, but I thank you for it today. Hallelujah. Hey, we come to sing. We come to sing. We come to sing. Oh, dance and shout. We come to praise. Yes, we come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise till the glory. Oh, we come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise. We come to sing. We come to sing. Test and shout. We come to praise till the glory comes down. We come to sing. Test and shout. We come to praise till the glory comes down. We come to sing. Test and shout. We come to sing. 
come to praise till the glory comes. We come to sing. We come to sing. Dance and shout. We come to praise till the glory comes. Yes, he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we give you glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I can feel him in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. Oh, the presence of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Yes, the Spirit of the Lord is here. I can feel Him in the atmosphere. Hey, the Spirit of the Lord is here. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is here. Oh, the power of the Lord is here. Whatever you have need of, the power of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. Yes, the power of the Lord is here. Oh. The power of the Lord is here. Yeah. Oh, the presence, the presence of the Lord is here. Yes, the presence, the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. Oh, the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord is here. Yes, the presence of the Lord is here. I can feel it. The presence. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah! Oh! Hey, the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Oh! The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, the power, the power of the Lord is here. Yes, the power. I can feel it, the atmosphere. Yes, the power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The power of the Lord, the power of the Lord is here. 
just the power. The power of the Lord is here. Oh, I can I feel, feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord is here. Yes, the power of the Lord is here. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, the power of the Lord. The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord. The power of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord is here. Yes, the power of the Lord is here. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. A blessing from the Lord. A blessing from the Lord is here. Yes, a, a blessing from, from the Lord is here. I can feel I it in the atmosphere. A blessing, a blessing from the Lord is here. A blessing from the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Oh. A blessing from the Lord. A blessing from the Lord. Oh, I can feel it in the atmosphere. Oh, a blessing from the Lord is here. Yes, a blessing from the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Oh. And I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing Yes, I can't feel oh, the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. Yes, I can feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. Can't you see him working on the outside? I can't feel him moving on the in. So come on and enter in and cast your case on him. He'll open up a window and pour you out a blessing. Cause when the Lord steps in, he brings everything you need. Healing, power, and victory. So it's all up to you. Whatever you need to do, just trust him and believe him and my faith. He will receive. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing Yes, I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. Can you see him working on the outside? I can't feel him moving on the inside. So come on and enter him. Cast your case on him. He'll open up a window and pour you out. Cause when the Lord steps in, he brings everything you need. Healing, power, and victory. So it's all up to you. Whatever you need him to do. Just trust him and believe him and by faith you will receive. I can't feel. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to give my blessing. Yes, I can't feel. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right oh, now. It's my time for God's favor. It's my time to be blessed. Yes, it's my time. It's my time for God's favor. It's my time to be blessed. It's my time. It's my time for God's favor. It's my time. It's my time to be blessed. Yes, it's my time. It's my time for God's favor. It's my time. It's my time to be blessed. Step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, the people last yeah, step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, the people, yes, step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, yeah, step in, step in, step in, step in, step in, step in. I ain't waiting no more. I ain't 
On the inside, I can feel him moving on the inside. Come on, on enter in, cast your cares on him, he'll open up a window. And when the Lord steps in, he brings everything you need. Yes, healing, power, victory. And it's all up to you, whatever you need to do. Just trust him and believe him, and my faith you will receive. Oh, I can feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm gonna get my blessing. I can't feel. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm gonna one more time. Yes, I can't feel. I can't feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm gonna get my blessing right now. Hallelujah. The ushers. Oh, I feel like I feel like somebody is one praise away from a miracle. What if you were one praise away from seeing your loved one walk through the back door? What if you were one praised away? Shut up, Ramada. Oh, hallelujah. Across this building, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. God. Yes. Oh, I ain't waiting no more. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, one more time. From the front to the back, from the east to the west. Let's lift our voice, lift our hearts to the King in praise. God, we love you. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't remember if it was Brother Huffstetler or if it was Brother Vanler. It's been such a long time since I've heard it said, but it's one of those things I don't know whether to cut a cake or bake a watermelon or bake a cake, cut a watermelon, whatever. Hallelujah. Thankful for the presence of God in the place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're asking our ushers to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to. Maya tarara moro shori alhamatai. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give us given unto the Lord. Worship with us as we sing. I want to be close. Close to your side, so heaven is real and death is a lie. I want to hear voices of angels above singing as one. Hallelujah! Holy, holy, God Almighty, you are the great I am. Who is worthy? None beside thee. God Almighty. God Almighty. You are the great I am. You are the great I am. I want to be close. I want to be close. Close to your close side, to your God. Heaven is real and death is a lie. I want to hear voices of angels above. You're singing as one. Hallelujah, holy, God Almighty, you are the great. Beside you, Lord. God, oh, the great I am. You are the great I am. I want to be near. I want to be near. Near to your heart, God. Loving the world. Oh, but I hate the dark. I want to see dry bones living again. Singing as one. Oh, hallelujah. Holy God Almighty. You are the great.
To be near, I want to be near, near to your heart, to your side. loving the world and hating the dark. I want to see dry bones living again, oh, singing as one. At the mention of his name, shut up, my There is no power in hell against it before the power. of the name. Who 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, he had a mushroom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's extend our hands across this room tonight as we wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thankful for the presence of God in this place tonight. Hallelujah. I'm thankful. Thankful that God loves us. Loves us enough to come down. Come down and dwell among us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Without any, yes, sir. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister Norma was just saying that she got another test and she's still still cancer free. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the kind of God that we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're gonna we're gonna turn this preacher. Loose in this sanctuary. He's no stranger to us. Brother Stephen Gray was here Wednesday night and blessed us. Blessed us with a great word from God. Hallelujah. Would you welcome him to this pulpit this evening with an apostolic amen? Can we lift our hands all over this building? Can we vocalize our appreciation for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords coming down to spend time with us, that he would condescend to us men of low estate, 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, hallelujah, 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 Jesus. It was so that I need a young over the attack and I got lost of it and I don't know so be it on that I ache. I got to so. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, have your way in this house. your way in this house, oh God. Hey, Lord, so I feel something in the Holy Ghost tonight, and I've done my best to ignore it, but I feel like it just keeps coming up. There's ever been a time when you need to pray for your leadership. It's today. It's this hour. We are witnessing a battlefield of spiritual proportions, the magnitude of which has never been seen before. Hallelujah. 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 I feel like if it's okay, Pastor Van Lu, if we could all, if we could all, if you could stretch your hands forth, I wanna I want you to pray for your pastor right now. There are battles that he's come through. You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. I tried my best to ignore this and just and brush past it and begin the sermon, but I just can't get past it. I can't get past it, and I just want to be obedient to God. I want you to pray with all of your heart. I want you to pray with all of your soul. I want you to pray with all of your strength tonight. Hallelujah. That God would strengthen your pastor. That God would give him a renewed strength and vigor to deal with the battles that he has fought and will continue to fight. God, a hand clap of praise for doing it. Thank God. Hallelujah. I admire your pastor very much. He's a very dear friend to me, and I would like to be able to spend more time talking to him and hanging out with him but the reality is he's a very busy guy and I know that but I, uh, I appreciate him and I appreciate his friendship and I appreciate him speaking into my life in the times that he has speaking into my life when I absolutely needed it at the precise moment that I absolutely needed it. Hallelujah. So I'm thankful to be here. And I know that 
God is doing great things here, and I experienced it. I'm still thankful for what happened at Camp Judah, just being here with you guys. I just can't say it enough. Uh, be, having the opportunity to be here and be ministered to and be fed, and I carried away special treasures in the Holy Ghost that I will keep with me forever. And I'm thankful that there's a place where we can come and that we can worship God freely and that you can experience the atmosphere of worship that we feel in this place tonight. Hallelujah. In order for that to happen, we've got to have leadership that encourages worship and that encourages praise. And it's not just an obligation. It's not just something that we have to do to get through the order of the service, but it's something that comes from the very depths of our heart it comes from the very inside of us because when that begins to happen that's when God's power is able to move and work on us when we open ourselves up to him in worship in genuine heartfelt worship that's when lives are changed and that's when he can work things out of us that need to be worked out of us and instill things in us that need to be instilled in us. Give honor to Pastor Van Lu and Elder Van Lu and thankful that you would allow me to be here one more time. And it is my hope tonight that I would decrease while Jesus increases. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where I would be tonight. I know it's cliche and I know you've heard it a million times, but I can truthfully say that if it had not been for God coming to my aid, and if it had not been for Him being on my side, I don't know where I would be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you grab your Bibles tonight, we're going to go to Joshua 23, 11. Joshua 23 and 11. Good to see all my friends here at Abundant Life. Amen. You guys look so great this evening. Everybody looks so awesome. Smile real big. You ought to be proud of yourselves. It's consecration month. Everybody's getting closer to Jesus. Amen. All right. We need to get closer to him than we've ever been before. Joshua 23 and 11 reads, Take good heed, therefore, unto yourself. Somebody say, take good heed. Say, take good heed. In other words, pay attention. Therefore, unto yourselves that ye love the Lord your God. I'm going to do my best in a short amount of time as possible to talk to you on this subject tonight. Blocked notifications. Blocked notifications. Pastor, would you pray that God would move in the rest of this service? Hallelujah, everybody said in Jesus' name. Can you clap your hands one more time as you're being seated here tonight? Give God a shout of praise that comes from the very depths of your inside. Hallelujah. 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 I'm thankful that God is doing something great in this hour. I'm thankful that there are people that will listen to the voice of God in this hour. Amen. Joshua says in 23.11, says, take good heed, therefore. 
Pay attention, therefore, unto yourselves that you love the Lord your God. Amen. Somebody say, pay attention. There's a notification coming your way. I wonder tonight how many of you brought this with you. Anybody bring one of these? Anybody ever seen one of these before? It's a funny question, isn't it? You'd have to live in a cave in the most remote part of this world to not know what a cell phone is at this point. So everybody brought their cell phone. I wonder how many of you could tell me with certainty that you recall the last time that you turned off your cell phone. Most of us, we enter full-blown crisis mode when our phone begins to tell us that it's dying. It is a four alarm fire. We've reached DEFCON 5. I gotta find a charger because my phone is gonna die on me. And I might miss something important. I cannot tell you the last time that. Now, now, granted, there's those times when your phone is just acting funny and you turn it off just to turn it right back on and do what they call a power cycle. But most of us, I, I, you know, we, we, we keep our phones on constantly, constantly. And it's something that we monitor constantly. Did you know that they say the average individual unlocks their smartphone device 150 times a day? One day. Some of y'all, especially the kids, man. If God tarries to where they get to their 40s and 50s, they're going to have carpal tunnel on their thumbs from doing this. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock, unlock. It's comical, and I know there are some of you in here, there's some older individuals in here tonight. I am not picking on you. But you're probably saying, well, I can't. I just have my phone for emergencies, and it's always turned off. And thank God I've never had an emergency, so my phone has never been turned on other than the first day that I bought it in the store. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm happy for you. Amen. Um, I've got an illustration for you or an example, so we'll get to that here in a minute if this doesn't necessarily apply to you. But most of us spend so much time on our phones. It's insane. I was walking around downtown Friday night for the concert that Indiana Bible College did on the circle, and it was amazing to me how many people were walking around like this with their face lit up all blue, you know, like you used to do in the, in the campfire stories. You'd put the flashlight up there and tell your spooky story. It was amazing to me how many people are just walking around. It's a, it, I, wonder they don't run into each other, run into something, and sometimes they do. If there's an ability that you have with your phone that you can go into the settings and you can look at the apps that you've downloaded and there's a place where you can go in and you can enable notifications. And when you first download an app, how many of you know what I'm talking about? When you download an app, what does it ask you in the very beginning? It asks you, can you turn, will you allow us to send notifications to your phone, essentially is what the builder of that software is asking. Can we push notifications to your phone? In other words, can we interrupt your day? Can we take your time when we think we have something important to tell you? When there's a new character available for your game, we'll let you know. When there's an opportunity to double your points or when somebody posted something to your timeline, we'll let you know. Some of us check the Facebook notifications like it's our job. Seriously. Or if you're like my father and he finally logs in, he's like, oh, I got 5,325 notifications. I suppose I should see what those are all about. Most of us, the very minute we get one notification, it's booming. Oh, my goodness, i got to see what happened. But in the options, and you can go into settings at a later point in time, and you can turn off or you can block those notifications. 
So if you're tired of your phone singing a little song to you every time somebody sends you a tweet or a Snapchat or a Facebook notification or somebody sent you a heart or whatever else there is out there, there's, there's, they build apps so quickly it's hard to stay up with all of them and stay current. But if you want to stop your phone and shut your phone up and tell those apps to be quiet, you can block those notifications. And you can turn them off. And that way you have time at your convenience and at your leisure to go and check those messages and your day doesn't have to be interrupted. You can finish your business meeting. You can finish your trip to the store. You can finish that conversation with your child. You can finish your class if you're a teacher and not be interrupted by your phone continually chiming. And you can check those at your leisure. I'm, I'm here tonight to speak to a generation that's being programmed by these devices that we carry with us everywhere, and it's something that is so ubiquitous, we cannot escape it. And it's all in the name of a, of a tool, of, a, of something that we must have to communicate with others, and there are so many good things that we can accomplish with this device, and yet there are so many negative things that we can accomplish with this same device. I want to talk to you tonight about another type of notification, though, and that's the voice of God. Joshua says, take heed, take good heed. I want you to listen up. I want you to take note. I want you to notice something. I want you to hear this. I want you to understand this. I want you to perk up. I want you to to open your ears so I can communicate something to you. You're to love the Lord your God. And yet, the voice of God a lot of times, and especially now as we move forward in time, and we are now in the year 2015, We're treating our life and we're treating the voice of God like the smartphone apps that we download on our devices. We're wanting to turn off the voice of God and we want to disable the notification so that way if we don't have time for it, if it's not convenient for us, if it's something that we don't want to hear about, we can turn it off and that way we don't have to be interrupted. And we can do whatever we want to and we can mosey on with our lifestyle the way it is and we don't have to pay attention to his voice. Well, how can we block God's voice? One thing that we're having an increasingly difficult time doing is Taking time out to spend time in the Word. Investing time in the Word so that we can get closer to Him. So that we can understand and that we can be, our minds can be enlightened and and we can and we can grow psychologically and that we can understand what God is trying to impart to us. But we've forsaken the study of God's Word. One man said that a dusty Bible. If you see someone with a dusty Bible, it's indicative of a filthy life. And yet we've treated God's word just like we've treated the smartphone notifications. We're just going to turn that off. We'll get to it when it's convenient to us. We'll spend time in God's word when we have, when we have the uh, a precious time in our schedule to do it. We'll invest the study when we, when we have time and when it's convenient and when, and when we have a chance to do so. And so our Bibles begin to collect dust and God's voice is silenced through his word. For those of you that don't quite understand the cell phone metaphor and you don't use a smartphone and you don't have a computer, this is tantamount to you waking up in the middle of the night to the screeching noise of your fire alarm 
only to cover your head with a pillow and cover your ears so that you cease to hear the sound and roll over and go right back to sleep. God desperately needs to be able to get in touch with us in this hour. God needs to be able to communicate with us in this hour. And a lot of us have gotten to the point where we just turned it off. And we said, we don't have time for it right now. Hallelujah. We don't have time for it right now. We're so busy. We got so many things going on and, and, and this, that, and the other. And I just don't have time to blink. And I don't have time to listen for the voice of God. I don't have time to study His Word. Another way that we can block the notifications in our life are through t- church attendance. And through just being present at the house of God. This is not an issue that's relegated to any one church body or church family. It's all over. People are just having problems making it out to the house of God. And every situation will present itself in front of your life as an obstacle to keep you from being faithful to the house of God. And God wants to send you a notification through his word, through his ministry, through the five-fold ministry. Maybe God's going to show up in a worship service. Maybe the, everybody begins to worship God with all their heart and they get in one mind and one accord and they begin to send the praises up and God's power gets poured out and people's lives are changed and people walk out of the house renewed and refreshed in the Holy Ghost and on fire for God. And you missed it because you missed the church service. Like I said, I don't talk to your pastor very often. When I do exchange maybe, what would you say is a safe estimate? Like 10 words maybe? On average, 10 words on a text message. I'm on his list. When he gets time to hang out, I'm on there somewhere. I'm just teasing. I would like to spend more time with them. I don't get a chance to talk to them very often. And even with these services, it was mostly via text. Like, hey, you know, can you come these days?